the assault. Once we receive the royal order, our entire forces will destroy the Roland's army. My, my, Shepard Saray. Welcome to our base. Perfect. We are moments from receiving the royal order authorizing our assault. And the messenger will be an old friend of yours. You can't mean... You're making Alicia do that? <laughs> it's cruel of Bartlow, but still an ingenious plan. If she brings the order, the war is on. And should she refuse, he can have her court-martialed for treason. I can only imagine her dismay. You disgust me. Will you attack me? Please, be my guest. Then I could reasonably claim that spies from Rollins were in our camp. No need to wait for a royal order. <sighs> Looks like the odds are stacked against us. We're going to need Alicia's help to hold back the army. Alicia, is it? Go ahead and try then. I'm very curious. Alicia wasn't at the army base. Let's check over at Lady Lake. But if we get Alicia involved, we'll have no choice but to tell her that Maltran is a Hellion. She'd be hurt for sure. I'm aware, but there's no other choice. Dare you obstruct our glorious battle! You're a disgrace to Highland! What's gotten into you? Alicia! Go to your place! Saray? We'll talk later. Are we good, Lila? Yes! I've reactivated her squire's pack! Hey, a princess. Name's Avid. Nice to meet you. What? That look in your eyes says you have a question. No. I think I'll focus on the battle for now. And that's more or less what brought us here. I see. 
Zavid always talks about himself. <laughs> we'll fill her in later. Why were those soldiers attacking you? Probably because I've been stalling the war. I have yet to deliver the royal order authorizing our attack. And they hate and resent you that much? You can see for yourself. There's not a thing in the world that can prevent this war now. You're giving up? What else can I do? What else do you expect me to do? The king has commanded that we launch an attack on Rollins. An official royal order has already been issued. If that dumb piece of paper's causing you all that grief, why don't you just chuck it? Just... chuck it? What exactly do you mean by chuck it? Just what I said. Tear up the damn thing like it never existed. I can't! You can't expect Alicia to do something like that. Hey, no pressure. I don't mind seeing her beautiful face all scrunched up in pain. No. <sighs> Saray, I think perhaps the only way to stop this war is to do as Zavid suggested. Would you be willing to assist me in this? Are you sure about this? You would be rebelling against your own country. I know the risks. All right. Well, if Alicia's made up her mind, we can't refuse her, can we? Zavid, may I trust you in this matter as well? I can't decline a heroic princess. Your face looks better with a smile on it anyway. It's too early to give up. Sergei of Rollins is working to bring this war to a halt as well. So there are those on the other side, too. One ray of hope is that Lady Maltran is the one commanding our army. She is bound to cooperate with us. What's wrong? I hate to tell you this, but Maltran's not gonna help you. She's a Hellion. <laughs> she serves the Lord of Calamity. She was the one pushing for war in the first place. Edna! We had to tell her at some point. Yeah, better she hear it now than get stabbed in the back later. That can't be true! Don't you even dare joke about such a thing! Alicia, please calm down. No, Lady Maltran. She always encouraged me, even when... <laughs> I apologize. I will see Lady Maltran and verify this for myself. Back to that scrunched up face of hers. Are your eyes okay? It's fine. My vision's good. Oh good. So that means you've become stronger. Just a little bit blurry is all. A little bit? That could cost you your life in battle. Perhaps. But this is something you need to see through. To the end. Well, I... We've got way more important things to worry about. Saray needs you. Nothing will change that. Let's go, Alicia. Okay.
You've toughened up a bit yourself. Yes, I've been undergoing intensive training. Under Lady Maltran. Oh, I see. So, you finally figured out who I really am. Why? For the ideals I cherish most. Now, messenger, the royal order if you please. We have a war to start. <sighs> then I'll take it by force. This way, too many prying eyes out here. Lila, what type of Hellion is Maltran? I... I honestly cannot tell you for sure. So all we know is she's one to watch out for, huh? A strong, sexy lady. I'm not seeing the downsides myself. About this. I have other work to attend to. Why, Lady Maltran? Why? You are disgracefully slow to catch on. <sighs> what you see before you is reality and truth. One who cannot accept reality for what it is has no hope of being a leader to the people. I acknowledge my lack of resolve, but... Then you should have realized by now that your naive ideals have no meaning whatsoever in this present state of affairs. Not to the kingdom, not to the citizenry, certainly not to me. Then... then why did you act so encouraging and supportive to me all this time? Because you served two vital functions. One of which was your utility in getting Highland and Rollins to finally clash with their full military might. Your incessant whining was just the thing to provoke Bartlow and the others to action. Uh, uh. Alicia's ideals do hold meaning. And value. That's right. Saray believes in her, even if you don't. And he isn't the only one. I'm giving my dear pupil her final lesson. Kindly stay out of this. What, you can't deal with reality and truth? So many empty words. Who's slow to catch on now? 
A fair point. No need to exchange words when blows will suffice. For your other vital function. Stand back, Alicia! All right. Let's spread! I can do this! Your technique is appalling, Alicia. Lila, what's her weakness? I don't know. I can't tell. She's a hellion, but she's suppressing her nature. Letting you purify me. What truly needs purification is this entire world. Please, Lady Maltran, stop! You are just being deceived by the Lord of Calamity! <laughs> You're soft to the core, aren't you? Of all your flaws, that might be. What I hate about you the most. <gasps> this is reality, Alicia. I have proven my dedication to my lord. I have no regrets. Alicia!
everyone! And what good did it do? And... Still, I... And yet, you still want to stop the war, right? I feel just like you, in a lot of ways. The strength of a knight exists to protect. Their kindness serves the people. Lady Maltran's words still linger in my ears. I know she undoubtedly meant nothing by it, just some pretty nonsense to lead me on. Maybe, but even if she did, you took those words to heart, didn't you? And the Alicia standing right here is as real as it gets. You can count on it. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see this side of my reality. Let me see what I can do about the Highland Army. I'm naive and soft and whiny enough to think it'll work. That's just who I am. Young folks, always with the melodrama. Sorry about that. What? Are you crying too? It's so beautiful. You say something? Nothing. Nothing. Sadly, our tragically noble princess won't get a chance to do a thing. What do you mean? The war's already on. The Roland's Empire and the Kingdom of Highland. Battle of the Century. What? If you run, you might still catch it. I hear there could even be an extra special guest star. Bring your popcorn. <gasps> Looks like that's our next job. Rose? You'll need friends to get the job done, right?